Unfortunately, you live in that city where there's always a runaway trolley on the loose. It's happening again today, and to make matters worse, there's a whole bunch of people down rail that are tied to the tracks and can't possibly escape. The good news is that you are sitting at a switch station, and you can control whether the trolley goes down the blue path, the red path, or the yellow path. The bad news is that there is a demon at another switch station, and that demon can control whether the trolley eventually goes down a green path, orange path, or purple path. Here is the game. You and the demon must choose how to place your switches without knowledge of what the other one has done. So you do not know whether the demon has chosen green, orange, or purple when you make your choice, and the demon doesn't know whether you have chosen blue, red, or yellow when he makes his choice. However you place your switches, the trolley will go down that path. You have benevolent preferences where you want to minimize casualties. On the other hand, the demon being a demon wants to maximize casualties. The puzzle is simple. Which path should you choose? Blue, red, or yellow? While you're thinking about that, check out these cool books that I've written. And if you're ready for a hint, you can solve this game by using iterated elimination of strictly dominated strategies. And that just so happens to be the subject of Lesson 1.2 of Game Theory 101, The Complete Textbook. Okay, let's get to the answer. You may initially have an aversion to choosing red. After all, there are four people tied to the red track, and there are more people afterward no matter what the demon chooses. In contrast, there's only two people on the yellow track, and in fact no one down the purple path afterward. And on the blue track, there's no one there at all, and only three people on the purple path after that. And yet, what we're going to see in a second is that if you truly want to minimize casualties, you should be choosing red. The first step toward unraveling this logic is to think about the demon's incentives, and specifically his choice between orange and purple. Notice that regardless of whether you choose blue, red, or yellow, choosing orange from the demon will result in the trolley hitting more people than choosing purple. In the blue case, it's 8 versus 3. In the red case, it's 3 versus 2. And in the yellow case, it's 7 versus 0. Based on that, you can simplify your thinking. Because there is no plausible world in which the demon chooses purple, you can erase it from your memory like this. That will help you make some progress on your decision. Think about the choice between blue and red. If we've ruled out purple as a possibility, Choosing blue will result in either 11 or 8 people being hit, depending on the demon's choice. In contrast, if you choose red, either 5 or 7 will be hit. The key thing to note here is that even under the worst case scenario after you've chosen red, you'll still be better off than if you have the best case scenario under you choosing blue. That is, both 5 and 7 are fewer people being hit than either 11 or 8. So there is no reason for you to choose blue when you could choose red instead. Note further that we could only draw that conclusion because we previously eliminated purple as a possibility. If purple were plausible, then blue doesn't seem entirely ridiculous anymore. There may be some world out there where you could choose blue and only have three people get hit. But we know that that, in fact, is ridiculous. The demon is never going to choose purple, and because the demon is never going to choose purple, you have no reason to choose blue. Peeling yet another layer off this interaction, the demon could think about the situation looking like this, with both purple and blue being removed. And given that, the demon has no reason to play green anymore. If you were to choose red, orange would result in three people getting hit versus green and only one. And if you were to choose yellow, then orange hits seven, whereas green only hits two. 
So in both of those cases, orange is better than green, and so the daemon should choose orange instead of green. Like before, we could only draw that conclusion because of the previous logic. As a result of blue not being a reasonable choice for you, the demon can ignore the fact that green would produce a better outcome for him under that circumstance than orange. But he knows that blue is not a plausible choice for you, and so he can ignore that, focus on just the right two cases, and reason that orange is better than green under those circumstances. And now that you've fully narrowed down what the demon is going to do, it's a straightforward choice for you. If you choose red, seven total people get hit. If you choose yellow, it's nine. Seven is less than nine, and as a consequence, you're going to choose red. And thus we have derived our solution. You choose red, and the demon chooses orange. Seven people in total get hit by the trolley. If you enjoyed this game, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Take care.